Power Automate Tutorial for Beginners. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I am going to be telling you about Power Automate. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, Power Automate is Microsoft's automation tool that can help you automate a bunch of redundant tasks, right? So if you want to, let's say, create a recurring email, like a normal email, you want to have like a recurring email, you can do so with the help of Power Automate. You can create automations across multiple different applications within Microsoft, and it's pretty fun and easy to do so. And it's also free as well, as you can see over here. So let's get into it. So you can see right here, there's a bunch of different features that it offers. So, so we'll go over them one by one later, but the most useful and you know the most optimal ones that you're going to be using are basically going to be the automate features and over here you can select the use cases to see what you can use them so you can go ahead and use between a bunch of different options like for example system of records or collaborations you've got innovative documents automations and many many more right but enough of that let me just go ahead and show you so let's go ahead and click on start for free and we're going to go ahead and log in into the Microsoft account. If you already have an account, you can go ahead and get started for free as well. I already have an account, so I'm actually going to go ahead and sign in instead of signing up. But you can sign up as well, right? Like pretty simply add your email address, confirm your account, and you should be good to go. All right. So when you first log in, this is how your dashboard is going to look like, right? So let's go ahead and take a look and get a rundown over on the dashboard. So over here on the left hand side, you can see you have some options like create templates, learn, and you have my flows. Flows are going to be basically automations. They're known as flows in Power Automate. You've got approval, process mining, AI hub, desktop flow activity. That's basically for all the flows that you might have created for the desktop applications or for desktop purposes. They're going to be available over here. And then if you click on more, you're going to have all the other options as well, like tables, AI prompts, catalogs, connections, uh, work queues, machines, and cloud. You can even pin them over here onto the left side. So let's go ahead and do that so that we have easier access to them all. And if you click on discover all, uh, basically it's going to take you over to this little help section where you can see all of them and what they do basically give you a little bit of an intro on them. Approvals, processing mining AI app. So basically you get all that stuff, right? So this is all the options that are available to you. This was all that you needed to know about the dashboard. So let's get into it. Also, one more thing, if you wanted to switch to other applications, you can see right here, this little button, you just simply click over here and it'll give you more options, but currently it's not giving me the option. So we'll just skip that for now. So let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, come over here onto the left hand side. I'm going to show you how you can get started and create your flows. So click on templates and over here, I'm going to open it up in another tab and you can see a bunch of different applications or examples to choose from, right? These are templates. So you can see you have save Outlook emails attached to your OneDrive. You can save email attachments from Outlook to Dropbox. So you've got keep my school work in sync with my Google Drive, trigger a flow with Power BI data driven alert. I don't know what that is, but it's something to do with data, too complicated for me. You've got email yourself, new tweets about certain keywords. So this one could actually be helpful. So as soon as someone tweets, something about a specific genre or specific words. Let's say you want to be uh, staying up to date with a certain sh TV show, certain work, you know, certain news, certain game. It'll automatically, you know, send you an email. So keep that in mind, which I think is pretty cool. There are multiple other options as well, like between three or four applications. These are available only for uh, premium users. For free, you can only have like two applications. So you can't have more than two uh, actions. So keep that in mind. Now you could go ahead and select one of the templates, right? And start from there, or you can create one yourself. Totally depends on you. Or you can come over here, click on topics and select one of these ones. These are like the top trending automations or templates that are being used right now. And you can select this one. You can see right here, schedule a reply, save a message to OneNote. This one is actually pretty useful, although it requires a three part integration, but that's fine. You can see over here, there are other categories as well, like shared with me. Uh, there's remote work, approval. We've got button, uh, we've got Visio, 
we've got data collection, emails, uh, calendar, mobile, and then we have some other categories as well, like uh, notifications, productivity, social media, and sync. So let's go ahead and take a look at productivity. So here we have some different examples of productivity. So schedule a recurring message in channel, set up automatic replies in 365. You can schedule a recurring message in chat, a post to a chat when webhook request is received. So you can go ahead and set up multiple different ones as well. Uh, but me personally, I really like this one, like save a message to OneNote. So you can see right here, as soon as you get a message right here, uh, it'll easily be able to save it over here on OneNote business. Uh, you would need the 365 though, since this one is business. So this one is not for free. Keep that in mind. I think you can still use the free version, but I think it depends on you. We'll try to see if we can replicate it later, but as of right now, there's other options as well that we can use. So let me go ahead and go back into productivity and see whether or not we can use one. So this one looks pretty good. Create a planner task or schedule an office script. So, you know, depends on you. But yeah, let's go ahead and find a very simple, something easy. Schedule a reply. This one is actually pretty simple. You get Teams. We already have that. So let's go ahead and sign in into Teams, right? So... This one is, for example, scheduled reply. So we're going to go ahead and sign in into Microsoft Teams and create a flow. So it says connection failed. Let me actually go ahead and open up Teams in a new tab and see what is all the fuss. So let me sign in. There we go. Give it a couple of seconds and we should be good to go. All right. So I've tried a couple of ways in different accounts, but for some reason it keeps saying that the connection is failed even though i've tried to sign in on their website I, for some reason it just says that i can't sign in or it's failed so i suppose we can go ahead and select some other options so let's go ahead and do that so we can have this one so let's try something else right so most of them are teams and since i can't sign into teams i suppose we can just move ahead and select something else so there's other ones as well, like schedule reply again. No, we can't use that. But about something else, let me actually go ahead and see if there is one that we can go ahead and actually use. All right. So I was thinking maybe we could use this one. Save email attachments from outlook.com to Dropbox. So this could actually work, right? So let's go ahead and run this automate or run this flow. And then we're going to test this. I'm going to send myself a few uh documents some attachments and maybe that'll work right so outlook.com as you can see it says right here we're signed in should be good to go now i'm going to go ahead and sign in into dropbox and we're going to continue give it a couple of seconds i'm going to go ahead and sign in i believe we are good to go there we go we are now signed in in outlook and in dropbox as well so this will allow us to create this flow so let me actually go ahead and go into my dropbox account and i'll also open up outlook in another tab just in case all right so this is a fresh account on dropbox it's 970 i'm gonna go ahead and sign in to outlook over here as well and then there we go so now we have it now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna continue with this flow create the flow over here and activate it and we should be good to go all right so this is where you go ahead and set up your flow so when a new emails arrive in the inbox right you can click on this little advanced section over here to add more options over here right if you click on this section basically tells you what you need to do right to cc to or cc from and include attachment yes right importance normal then create a file scope which is going to be attachments right and you can select the folder attachments and then click on add a section over here to get more options and then click on save right this is going to be your flow right pretty simple nothing too crazy when a new email arrives in the inbox folder go ahead and create attachments folder within the drive within dropbox right so let's go ahead and click on save and test this out so we also have this flow checker right here or test all right manually send an email into your inbox to trigger it so if we click over here click on test it's gonna run the flow as a test and what i'll also do is i'll also 
open up my Gmail account and I'll compose a email as well. And I'll just add my email address over here, new shoes. And what I'll do is just type in a simple email and I'll also add some attachments, which is going to be these over here, different attachments, you know, as an images and then click on open and send different attachments. Give it a couple of seconds to upload. All right. Now, once that's done, we just simply click on send. It's going to send the email and we should have the email right here. All right. I received it, but it was not in junk mail. So what I'll do is it's not junk. All right. Never send future message. Yep. It was not junk. There we go. This is over here. Now, if it worked correctly, there we go. It automatically created the folder called attachments within it because it received the new email with attachments and I should have attachments over here. They're downloading as of right now, but there we go. You can see the images of the shoes right here. And over here, you can see flow is running and it take a little bit of a while because you no, know, but it did work. And there you go. So it works pretty well, which is pretty cool. So now we can go back and turn this on. You can see right here we should be good to go so this is how it works which i think is pretty cool so now whenever someone sends you an email with some attachments it'll automatically create a folder right here within dropbox and in it it will contain all the images or videos or whatever it is that you wanted to save which i think is a pretty cool it'll keep a backup as well so this one is the one that we created pretty simple pretty cool but yeah and here is the my flow section here you will be able to see all the flows that you have created so these are cloud flow and these are desktop flow and these are shared with me right so that's how you can work with flows now let me show you how you can create your own flow right there are going to be a couple of different examples in it and i'm going to go over all of them so if you come over here onto the left hand side if we click on create right there are a bunch of different options you can see there's automated flow instant flow schedule flow desktop flow and process mining right automated flow is triggered by a designated event as soon as that event occurs it'll automatically trigger that flow instant flow is going to be triggered manually right as soon as it is required you can come over here and trigger the flow and that'll just you know as the name suggests trigger it instantly it's manual flow there's a scheduled cloud flow which when you choose when to run and how often you run it and then there's desktop flow. It automates processes on your desktop and just triggers basically the flow on your desktop, not online. And then we have process mining. This evaluates and optimizes your existing processes and tasks, right? So these are the different types of flow that you might have. And you can go ahead and start with any one of them as blank right here. And you can go ahead and start with any one of them. For this video, for the first example, we're going to show you how you can use the schedule cloud flow because this is the easiest one to use and i believe a lot of people are going to be using this one so you can choose when and how often it runs so i believe this is the most popular one so we're going to click on it and you're going to give this flow a name you can add whatever name you want they can even generate it for you you can leave it blank totally depends on you and you can run this flow at when as well so you can add the date and time and you can repeat every single minute or every single day every single hour week or once a month right it's really easy so select the time select the dates select the scheduling and the repetitions of this flow and we can begin so let's say that we want this to run at 10 p.m every single week and it should run at friday all right on friday at 10 a.m every single week we're gonna have a meeting this is going to be the weekly checkup meeting or weekly team meeting whatever you want to call it and monday to friday that's fine and this will there we go i think this is much better instead of having it on all the days even though we've already selected the starting date we should go ahead and say it'll repeat every single week or on friday so there we go this will run on friday every week that is great then we'll click on create and this is a scheduled flow just as a reminder and once it's created you will see over here it says recurrence this is the recurrence edit option over here here you can go ahead and edit the recurrence intervals you can add intervals over here if you click on more options it'll give you time zone starting date at these hours you can go ahead and add specific hours as well 
with minutes as well. And let's say you want at, let's say 10, right? At 10, 30, then you select 10. And then over here, just add the value of anywhere between zero and 59 and separate it by commas. So 15, 30, there you go. That's going to be your minute, but I'll just put in 30. There you go, 10, 30. And there you go. That's my recurrence. And then we'll click on add a step, All right? This is going to be one step. This is going to help us to create the flow. So since we are creating a weekly email or weekly checkup meeting, what we're going to do is we're going to create an email over here. You can see you have a bunch of different options. These are going to be built-in apps, standard apps, premium app, custom apps, and clipboard. Uh, it's loading up over here. Right here, you can see the connector. So give it a couple of seconds. We want to click on actions instead of triggers. We don't want because since this is going to be a automatic weekly recurring flow, we want it to be actions. So it's loading up. Give it a couple of seconds to load up. All right. So now that they've loaded up, what we want to do is we want to click on action. And what we want to do is we want to search for an app called Outlook. You can even find it over here, but there are a bunch of different options, right? So if you come over here, search for Outlook, and there are going to be a lot of different options, right? You've got Office 365 Outlook, Office 365 Users, Outlook.com. Outlook.com is the one that we're going to be using since we are sticking with a free plan. If you have a 365, you can go ahead and choose the other ones. But since we have a free plan, we're going to be selecting this one. Now here, they're going to ask you what type of options you want, right? There's triggers, there's actions. We want actions. And since this is going to be a recurring tasks every single week, you want to send an email, right? So we're going to click on send an email. And now it's going to ask us who do we want to send it to? We can go ahead and specify emails and separate them by semicolons, right? And then we're going to add the subject of the email and then we want the body, all right? You can even click on show advanced to add attachments if you want them to. And you can also send as you can select the email as well and, you know, CC them or BCC them, whatever you want. So add in the emails, the subject, and I'll just add weekly meetings. And then over here, we'll just say, hi, guys, whatever you want. And for this example, I'm going to be using and in this example, I'm going to be using a temporary email address. So I'm going to copy that email and we're going to come back over here and paste that email right here. We can even, you know, separate them by semicolons, but we'll leave it at that. There we go. And that's the body. I don't want to add other stuff to it. So that's good. And then we just simply go ahead and click on the save. And there you go. This is going to be our weekly recurring email. You can test it by just simply clicking on test and selecting manual and clicking on test. It's going to go ahead and send the email to us over here. Click on run flow. There you go. Runflow was successful. It should appear over here. I think that I should have added the from section, but I didn't. But that's fine because there you go. It popped up right here. And there you go. Now it will it works. So now whenever the date occurs, it's going to automatically go ahead and send out this email to all the emails that you have added within the flow. And there you have it. This is how you can set up flows and how you can set up different uh, Power Automate or power automations to make your workflow much more smoother and seamless. So you can go ahead and select other ones as well. Like for example, as I said before, this one is scheduling. Other ones are going to be for different options, but scheduling is going to be the most important one. You've got instant ones as well. So you can go ahead and set up instant ones or automated flows as well, which is going to be triggered by a designated event. So let's say you connected a calendar with it. So as soon as that event occurs, it's going to trigger the flow. Boom. There you go. So pretty simple, right? This is how you do it. This is how you can use Power Automate to create automations and to create flows for your works. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.